It's what you mentioned. It's uh, the in the intensity of the of the movement, mm -hmm. even of the small movements of the the hands, like the hands in his neck. But also this playful thing with uh, the white cube here. Uh, well, it's not a cube, the white square, which is basically. Mm, it's basically an anti-statement of what's happening on top of it, no? Yeah, for I see it really as a, like, give space to the people. Mm -hmm. like, give them a bit of silence, give them a bit of space, and then you can read much more what they are actually doing. I think, yeah, silence is quite important. Space, yeah, empty, emptiness, like, let's make space for emptiness. And then in the meanwhile, it's very present, like it's, it's a wide space, so it's not that empty either. Mm -hmm. and, and by cutting apart, it feels more like she's laying him down into, the, into something, as if in a, in a bed or in water or I don't know. So the feeling that, uh, that this really cover, yeah, makes communication. It's, uh, a lot is happening between the two uh, elements. But it's a very gentle gesture. No? Yes. Yeah. It's like taking care of somebody. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, she's very tender with him, that's true. Yeah. For me, um, for a long time, I've been searching for that relationship, like for, for connecting both more. Uh, and now it's, it's changing, so that's uh, why I'm, I'm a bit searching. But yeah, well, I studied, I studied first painting. So I'm first a painter and then I studied photography. So I think I, I look at photography as a painter. Um, and I and the way that I use photography, like the the way that I use a camera or the way that I use the techniques of photography, is as a painter. So um, yeah, so I think I I am both, and uh, and the relationship is is a bit out, out in in the the order, the time order of my studies has a bit um, has this quite big implication in the end in my work. Uh, so, how how photography and painting then um, connects is um, physically. So I I've been really since since I I studied photo at the moment that I started photography, I was a bit lost with these cameras that it's all very very digital and very cold, very distant some, somehow, and I've been finding ways to bring that closer to me, to find tactility inside of photography. And uh, what I did is that I kept the, um, the canvas of my painting and I uh, started painting light sens sensitive emulsions on them in the darkroom to then project my image on it and then pour the developer, pour stop and fix spots. Uh, and then rinse for half an hour. So there is the gestures of the of the painter, and then the the picturality of the photography. So I found a way to really have from from both mediums the the best and the tactility. Uh, the tactility yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, that's how how they come together. The process before taking the picture starts getting more and more important in my work. I think after I was always more focused on the, the printing itself and how to, yeah, how to deal with this uh, photography and painting, how to make them closer to each other. How like I was really researching different ways of of, um, 
of connecting those and uh, that part I'm letting go a little, little bit more mm -hmm. um, and now I'm more focusing on, on yeah, how, to, how to get to a moment, how to create a moment that, uh, to take a picture. Um, because it's not evident, like how do you, how do I find people that want to work with me? How do I create like, like kind of atmosphere? How, how do I make people curious? Mm -hmm. um, and what was so nice in Mexico, like I, there were several people that, that, um, that invited me and uh, one of them or two of them was a couple, a Bhutto dance couple. So she, she's Japanese, he's Mexican. And uh, they live both in a village in, in Mexico that I didn't know. So they invited me there. So I took the bus, I went there, didn't know who I, who I was going to meet. And uh, then uh, this um, little van was waiting for me with these super smiley people. Uh, and uh, so they, they took me for three days, to taking pictures in so many different places, somewhere in a field, in the marketplace, in a swimming pool, in a lake. Like really, they were full of inspiration. And also the fact when you, when you travel, uh, there is a kind of, there is sh short timing. So it's like, we have to do this now. There, this, the note sack, what is a note sack in the English? Emergency, in a way. The emergency, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. The emergency of, of, of the moment that you are going to live together. And the, the fact that you know that the time is now, mm -hmm. Let, let's do, let's create something now. Let's put our creativity together to, to make something, to make a moment happen. And that's then in the picture, um, yeah, in the, in the picture, it really shows that moment and the, the common trust that we have um, is very important. Like the, the yeah, like I, I want to give you that. Um, and that, that worked in a very beautiful way with the both of them. Mm -hmm. Mm Obviously, dancing and movement is very, very important in your work. Uh, where did that fascination come from? Well, uh, the, very, the very first dance that I saw was on television when I was 12. Um, I wasn't really looking for it, but uh, uh, I was just watching television and, and while going through the channels, I, I bumped on this um, performance of Anna Teresa de Keersmaker, Rosas Danced Rosas. And uh, yeah, it really, it really touched me. I was uh, a bit confused with what I was seeing and I was also going again to other channels, but then each time I went back to it and 
Um, and what is so beautiful in that performance is that Ana Teresa, she works with, with small gestures, with like small movements from the daily life uh, that she, she takes out of that context and, and brings it, like re repeats it a lot uh, and brings it in, in to this frame of, of the theater that, that makes it a bit weird. Like you, you create a big distance between um, yeah, between what you feel so familiar with and what uh, and what you see then there, and I and I think somehow it has been really influencing me uh, even in an unconscious level, in already when I was painting, mm -hmm. um, where I would uh, other students from my class, I invited them to to come in my studio and work on on their own stuff and I was trying to paint in a very expressive way the intensity of their movement towards towards the painting. This fascination for um, for how people hold their hands, how how they uh, how my grandmother takes the potatoes from from the ground, um, like there is something very. It shows a lot of who people are and, and, and the essence of, of their, their being is in this kind of small gestures. And then for me also take, taking it out of reality, framing it in a different way, it's, um, it's super important for me. And then, and then working with dancers is, is very, um, yeah, it's, it's, dancers are, are the, they're, the best, like the experts in body expression, and they are very generous with all the gestures and all the movements and all the like the the his, they they carry a history with them, where they have been really researching that, and and they can give you so much uh, information and so much emotion in a very small moment. So uh, it's for me each time a really big present when I can work with a dancer. I'm like wow. By taking these gestures out of a, a normal context, like normal, like out of life, and then uh, repeating them, putting them into onto a scene, uh, that uh, yeah, that's so beautiful. There, 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 something, something very weird happens. Like uh, it's we understand that it's not anymore the thing that we do ourselves in a daily, like it's there, but not. And, and, and I think that has been in my work in, in, in little ways. And then now, after all these years, um, really working with dance, I, I, I understand this more. I understand more where, why I was so touched by it. And, and uh, I, I discover it in my work in, in subtle ways. So this is what you mean with the small movements of people that you get into the picture? Yeah. In this image, the dancer is really like with herself. Like you feel that she's living something and thanks to the way that she holds her hands and that she, she's facing down, there's a really beautiful strength in that. And it's, it's, it's in very few visible that she's there. Like, uh, it's not, not a big explosion, it's something very interior and uh, yeah. And here you can really see the materiality of the layer. And um, by, uh, like you can, you can see the lines, how I've been painting and then the, the vertical lines. I don't know if you can, you, you see a bit what I, uh -huh. what I mean with these ones. And then, um, so the way that I've been painting the light sensitive emulsion on the canvas, you can, you can really feel that. So you also have kind of the history of, of the way that I have been painting. So there is the movement of the dancer and my movement, my gestures of the painting that, that they come together, they meet each other inside of this, inside of the surface. 
and like all these little the little dots the little things they uh, become visible it's even more visible on, on this picture no yeah that's true should i change yeah please yeah, maybe. So I put two layers of light sensitive emulsion on the canvas, I paint them, and since I do it in the almost dark, I don't always know what I'm doing 100%. And here I, I, I lost a layer of, uh, of emulsion, and, uh, and that's how you see like where there is two layers, the dark is much deeper, and where there is only one layer, it becomes much more gray. And is it difficult to lose that kind of control? Um, uh, yeah, there is, there is finding a balance in that. So there is a part of it is really um, also something that I want, that I'm like, oh, I'm happy that that material is alive. Like it, it, also, it, it also reacts, I give something, but it also gives me something back. And this all, these little holes, like the, the surprises that come in, they are often very welcome and sometimes they are too much. And then at that point, it's it's for me not anymore interesting. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's 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 a it's a balance to find. Mm -hmm. And it's something that you decide only at the end of the work of the process. Yeah, it's at the moment that I I, I discover. When I discover the image, um, I am, I'm like okay, I like this or I don't like this. This is a really it's a moment a, a very very big intensity like. Uh, is this uh, is this what I want? Do I want this spot? Is it maybe some, sometimes it's too important because in fact here you see you see the hands. Mm -hmm. Do you see them? Yeah. Because sometimes you don't see them, and that's because it depends on how you look at them. But if if all this texture it's too much, it's too heavy, then you don't see anymore the hands, and then it's like ah, am I am I going too much on the texture, and is there not any anymore the the image uh -huh. that is visible, so sometimes uh, it, can be, it can be too much. So it's a balance but between abstract and figuration, in a way. Yeah, yeah, abstraction definitely enters here. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. I brought together like images from the last six years or even more that were talking about movement gesture um, and uh, I, I wanted to take them out of their context and what happens in the book is that it's, it's in fact like a, I, wanted, I wanted you to be able to read it as a choreography so when you um, when you discover the dance, you, you discover it in the speed that you decide yourself how fast or how slow you want to turn the pages. And the sound of the, the dance would be then the sound of the turning of the page. Um, yeah, so there's a movement inside of that, the movement of the bodies that are fixed somehow, but also the movement of yourself, of the moving of the pages. There are uh, some very important landscapes in the book, like the landscapes, they are in fact the, the space where, where the body can, can move in, like we, we have to move somewhere. So I, I've been taking pictures, there are two mountains like sphinxes that are kind of in, in the outside of the book on the cover. They kind of protect all the movement that is happening inside and then there is the, the icebergs. They, um, they come back in, in different moments in the book and they are like, yeah, an iceberg is like, is like a dance from Mother Nature, from like a very, very slow movement, but it also shows the, yeah, how, how time 
passes and how how a moment that is lived, like the moment that I was standing there taking these pictures, it's as as a dance. It's 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 there now, and then the next moment it's it's gone. So um, yeah, there's like the macro and micro, like small and big uh, movements in the book. And now I have the feeling that I'm changing language. That I that that uh, okay. I've been I've been doing it. I've been this. I've been needing this for like having this analog procedure between analog and photo photography as a way of expressing myself. And now I start discovering other ways of of um, of expressing myself. And I, I I found a very beautiful paper. It's a fiber paper that is sticky in the back. Uh, and when you print on it digitally, um, you can make like huge prints that then, uh, if you stick them on the wall, the, it's as if the body like melts inside of the building and you get a very different um, connection with space. So there is still this tactility. The, the, the paper is really something very, um, it's not so fragile like these beautiful glossy papers that people sometimes use. Um, and. Uh, and you still have that physical connection of the viewer that is in front of a body that is the same size of the viewer or even bigger or like you really have a human connection to, to the thing that you see. Um, and uh, yeah, so there, so now I'm, I'm much more uh, also thinking like, okay, who am I as a photographer? Am I a choreographer or not? Like how, uh, when I'm when I'm taking pictures with one dancer, it's like okay, we understand each other, and the dancer dances for me, and we kind of dance together in space because I follow uh, I follow the dancer, um, and then now I'm really curious about about the group. Like also, we we've been spending one year alone in our houses. Like we had to take distance of people, and I'm like, no, we want we want we we belong to to the group. We want to be together. Um, let's let's be together. Let's how how can the movement like w one of those movements? How can my movement be taken by by others and 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 move inside of a group? How can and how can I work with that? How, how can I understand myself with a group, with other people? With... So that's questions that I'm really touched by now. So it's a new challenge. It's a very big news challenge, yes, yes.